Hey, this is Riley with Main Street ROI, and today's tip is about how to set up form fill conversion tracking in Google Ads. So if tracking form submissions on your website is important for your business, and you'd like to track that with your Google Ads, then this is how to do it. So there's a few different ways to do this. Um, my preference is to actually send people to a, a thank you page, a separate thank you page, specifically for that designated form that was submitted. And the reason for that is that sometimes the form submission trigger when people actually click submit will misfire and you'll get um, conversions in the account that aren't actually real submissions. But with a thank you page, then you know the only way that they got to that page is if they filled out the form. So first we'll want to go to tools and settings and conversions. And we're going to set up a new conversion action. So this is a website conversion, so we'll click on that and type in the website. All right, and then we're going to click add a conversion action manually. Okay, so I'm going to call this a submit lead form. And I'm just going to name it SEO checklist quest and you could add a conversion value here so if for example you knew that um, form submissions of a particular type were worth x amount for your business then you could add that value here i'm not going to add that in this case and then we only want to count one so if we if we had every selected then every time someone submitted a form even if it was the same person then that would that would uh, still count as a conversion, but we only want to count one of those. Um, and as far as the length of time, I, I always set these to the max because I'd like to know no matter how far away from the ad click they converted, I still want to know if they came from Google Ads. Um, and then attribution model, I'm going to leave that selected. And we'll go to the next page. Okay, save and continue. Okay, and for this, this example, um, I'm gonna use Google Tag Manager, which is really, I think the easiest way to do this. In order to use Google Tag Manager, you do have to have the Google Tag Manager container script installed on your website specific for your account. So that's something that a developer can do. Um, but once that's installed, then you can handle this all yourself. So I'm gonna pop over to Tag Manager now, and I'm gonna I'm on the Tags page, and I'm gonna click I'm gonna click New, and Tag Configuration, Google Ads Conversion Tracking, and this is really um, pretty much just copy and paste. I'm gonna set up the trigger first. So the trigger is just what what's going to trigger the the conversion, and in this case, I want it to be just a page view of the thank you page. So I'm gonna set it up to be a page view. So I'll click the little blue plus icon here and whoops, I'm already here. Okay. So yeah, so I'm going to select, uh, it's going to be a page view and I'm going to click some pages because it's not every page and specifically it's pages with a particular URL. So I'm going to select page URL and then this is the unique thank you page string and click save. Actually, I'm going to name it SEO checklist request page view. Okay. Okay. And then here, this is really just copy and paste. So I'm going to go back to Google ads and copy that conversion ID and the unique conversion label. Cool. SEO request. All right, and that's it. So the tag has now been created. Um, next step, I would test this. So let me actually go here. I'm going to copy this again. 
So uh, bef before publishing these changes to the site, a good best practice to, is to uh, just make sure that it's firing correctly. So to do that, you'll create the tag here and then click preview. And you'll put your website URL there and click connect. And what I'm trying to do here is really just, um, just make sure that, so these are the tags that I, I created in the account make sure that they're firing correctly. So in this case, I'm on the homepage of the site. I'm just going to change this URL to that unique thank you page. And this is the thank you page. And I should see, yeah, Google Ads. Here we go, this is the one I set up. I had already set this up previously, so that's why this is essentially the same thing firing here. Um, but yeah, Google Ads conversion tracking SEO checklist request, it's firing correctly, and it's not firing when I go to other pages. Um, I went to the blog page. Yeah, so it's not firing in that case. So um, in this case, it's fire, it looks like it's firing correctly, and I'll go ahead and publish it. And that's it. That's how you set up form tracking for Google Ads. And I hope this was really useful. Um, if again, if form tracking is important for your business, then this really has to be set up and it should be set up correctly. So if you have any questions about this, please reach out to us. We work specifically with small businesses and this is what we do. So we want to hear from you. And um, of course, if you have any questions, please reach out and I'll see you guys at the next tip.